In the picturesque suburban town of Millbrook, life thrived within a warm, tightly knit community where the laughter of children echoed through tree lined streets, and neighbors greeted one another with genuine smiles. The residents prided themselves on their connections, celebrating annual block parties and sharing potluck dinners. Yet, beneath this idyllic surface, unspoken tensions simmered, waiting for the right moment to emerge. At the heart of Millbrook stood the Wilson household, a charming two story home adorned with flower boxes bursting with colorful blooms. The scent of freshly baked cookies often wafted through the air, a testament to the loving environment nurtured by Jack Wilson and his wife, Megan Packer. Jack, a dedicated high school physics teacher, spent his days inspiring young minds while cultivating a sense of curiosity about the world. Megan, an equally passionate art teacher, was known for her creativity and flair. As she prepared for an upcoming conference in Chicago, her focus and energy seemed particularly heightened. Jack Wilson, at 35, Jack exuded a calm confidence, his tousled brown hair and warm smile reflecting a man who found joy in the simple moments of life. He was a devoted husband and father, spending weekends coaching his son's soccer team and reading bedtime stories to his daughter. Jack believed in the beauty of family rituals, cherishing their Saturday movie nights and spontaneous picnics in the park. Yet, an unease had begun to creep into his heart, a subtle discord he couldn't quite articulate. Megan Packer, Megan was the embodiment of grace, her sun-kissed skin and long, flowing hair drawing attention wherever she went. Her passion for art was mirrored in her wardrobe, a colorful array of vibrant dresses and carefully chosen accessories that showcased her creativity. As she busily packed for her conference, she pored over her outfits with meticulous attention, making sure every detail was perfect. While Jack found her dedication endearing, he couldn't shake the feeling that her fixation on appearance hinted at something deeper. Their ten-year marriage had been a tapestry of love, woven with small rituals that reminded them of their commitment. Early morning coffees shared in comfortable silence, laughter-filled dinner preparations, and whispered secrets late at night were the threads that bound them. Yet, beneath this facade of domestic bliss lay a growing tension that neither acknowledged. Jack often sensed that Megan's thoughts were distant, lost in an intricate web of unexpressed emotions. As Jack observed Megan packing, he felt a mix of admiration and concern. Her beauty radiated, but the intensity of her focus made him question whether it was merely the excitement of her upcoming conference or something more profound. He noticed how she meticulously arranged her clothes, selecting outfits that accentuated her figure and applying the final touches to her makeup with an air of care that left him unsettled. Are you all set for your big trip? he asked trying to sound casual while hiding the knot tightening in his stomach. Megan turned, a bright smile gracing her face. Almost. Just need to finish packing my supplies for the art workshop. I can't wait to network with some incredible artists. Sounds great, Jack replied, forcing a smile while a whisper of doubt nodded him. There was something about the way she prepared, an eagerness that felt unfamiliar. As Megan turned back to her suitcase, Jack found himself captivated by her, yet an unsettling thought lingered at the edge of his mind. What lay behind her radiant smile? A sense of unease settled over him, like a storm cloud gathering on the horizon, foreshadowing a tempest that would soon break. The morning sun cast a warm glow over Millbrook, illuminating Jack's classroom as he prepared for the day ahead. Students trickled in, laughter and chatter filling the air, but Jack's mind was elsewhere. He glanced at his phone, the screen lighting up with a notification. An unknown number flashed across the display, piquing his curiosity. Hey, Mr. Wilson. Are you ready for today's lesson? One of his students called out, snapping him back to reality. Of course. Jack replied with a smile, but his mind was still racing. As the class began, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. During lunch, he discreetly checked his phone. The message from the unknown number read, Your wife isn't who you think she is. A chill ran down Jack's spine. His heart raced as doubt crept into his thoughts. Was this some sort of prank? He tried to brush it off, but the words echoed in his mind, casting shadows over his once clear perceptions of Megan. That evening, after the kids were tucked in bed, Jack couldn't contain his worry any longer. 
he sat across from Megan at their kitchen table, her laughter ringing out as she recounted her day at school. The contrast between her joy and his turmoil felt suffocating. Megan, he started hesitantly, his fingers tapping nervously against the table. I got a weird text today. Her eyes widened, a flicker of concern crossing her face. What did it say? It said, it said you aren't who I think you are, he stammered, the words feeling heavy on his tongue. Megan's laughter faded, replaced by a tense silence. That's just a prank, right? You know me better than that, Jack. Yeah, I do. But it's just, strange, he replied, unable to shake the unease. Is everything okay with you? She forced a smile, but Jack could sense the underlying tension. Of course. I'm just busy preparing for the conference. You know how it is. Jack nodded, but a seed of doubt had been planted, growing roots in the furrow ground of his fears. As the evening wore on, he lay in bed, staring at the ceiling, replaying the message in his mind. What if there was some truth to it? He felt an urge to dig deeper, but he didn't want to jump to conclusions. After all, they had built a life together, a life he cherished. Sleep eluded him, replaced by a whirlwind of thoughts that spiraled through his mind. The doubt nodded him, growing more insistent with each passing hour. As he listened to Megan's soft breathing beside him, he resolved to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. The following days were a blur of uncertainty for Jack as he navigated his dual roles as a teacher and a husband, his heart heavy with the weight of doubt. Every time Megan left for work or spoke about her upcoming conference, Jack felt a knot tighten in his stomach. The cryptic message haunted him, whispering insinuations that he couldn't ignore. Determined to find clarity, Jack started his investigation discreetly. During lunch breaks at school, he combed through the details of Megan's conference. His heart sank when he found no record of her attendance in the online database. The lack of confirmation nodded him, feeding his growing suspicion. Why would Megan lie about something so significant? After school, Jack returned home, searching for clues. He rifled through her bags and found new clothes tucked away in a hidden compartment. They were not the outfits she typically wore to work but rather dresses that seemed meant for special occasions. He recalled the late nights she spent at school preparing her art projects, but he had always brushed aside his concerns. Now, they took on a darker hue, hinting at a double life he never suspected. Each revelation only deepened his anxiety. He noticed how her phone buzzed more often, its screen lighting up with notifications she quickly dismissed. Jack's heart raced as paranoia seeped into his thoughts. Who was she communicating with that required such secrecy? One evening, as Jack sorted through a pile of papers in Megan's home office, he stumbled upon a note that sent his heart racing. The elegant handwriting belonged to Adam Reeves, a fellow teacher at the school and someone Jack had always considered a friend. The note spoke of plans for a getaway, with lines like I can't wait to spend more time with you and you deserve this break from everything. Panic surged through Jack as he pieced together the implications. Megan's supposed conference suddenly felt like a cover for something far more sinister. His mind raced with visions of betrayal, a reality he had never imagined. The note was a smoking gun, and the thought of confronting Megan filled him with dread. Could he really face her with this evidence? Jack wrestled with the urge to confront her immediately, but doubt held him back. What if he was misinterpreting the note? Torn between seeking more evidence and confronting his wife, he reached out to his close friend Sarah, a fellow teacher who had always been a source of support. Jack, you look like you've seen a ghost, Sarah remarked as they met for coffee after school. Her brow furrowed with concern as she noticed his distress. I don't know how to explain it, but something's off with Megan, Jack confessed, his voice barely above a whisper. He revealed the mysterious text and the note from Adam, his heart racing with each word. Sarah listened intently, her expression shifting from concern to determination. You need to get to the bottom of this. I can help you track her phone location. If she's with Adam, we'll know for sure. With Sarah's help, Jack accessed Megan's location through a shared app they had set up for family safety. He felt a rush of guilt and anxiety as they waited for the phone to ping. 
the screen flashed, revealing that Megan was at the Oceanana Resort. A rush of adrenaline coursed through Jack's veins, his worst fears were coming to fruition. Are you sure you want to do this? Sarah asked, her eyes searching as for a sign of hesitation. I have to know the truth, Jack replied, his voice steady despite the turmoil within. With newfound resolve, they planned their next steps, a mixture of dread and determination propelling them toward the confrontation that awaited. The Oceanana Resort loomed ahead as Jack and Sarah parked in the lot, its facade a blend of elegance and allure. Yet, the beauty of the place felt tainted to Jack, his heart pounding with a mix of dread and determination. As they walked toward the entrance, his thoughts raced, how could he confront Megan? What if she denied everything? Inside, the lobby buzzed with vacationers enjoying the coastal atmosphere, but Jack's focus narrowed on the mission at hand. With Sarah by his side, he navigated through the crowd, his eyes scanning for any sign of Megan and Adam. Each heartbeat echoed in his ears, amplifying his anxiety. Finally, they spotted them, a cozy corner of the resort's lounge, where Megan and Adam sat close together, laughter spilling from their lips like a secret shared between lovers. Jack's stomach twisted as he observed the scene, Megan leaned in, her hand resting lightly on Adam's arm, a gesture of intimacy that felt like a knife to his heart. Are you ready? Sarah whispered, her voice steady but soft, breaking through Jack's haze of disbelief. With a deep breath, Jack nodded, pushing aside the emotions threatening to overwhelm him. He stepped forward, his voice steady yet firm. Megan. Megan turned, surprise washing over her features as she met Jack's gaze. Jack? What are you doing here? Jack's heart raced, the air heavy with tension. I know about the affair, Megan. The note from Adam, the texts. You can't deny it. Megan's expression shifted, shock morphing into defensiveness. Jack, it's not what you think. We were just. Just what? Jack interrupted, anger simmering beneath the surface. Planning a getaway? Sharing secrets? You've been lying to me, to our family. Adam rose, attempting to defuse the situation. Hey, let's talk about this calmly. No. Jack's voice cut through the noise of the lounge, drawing attention from nearby patrons. This is between me and my wife. The confrontation reached a fever pitch, emotions spilling over. Megan's eyes welled with tears, but Jack held firm, refusing to relent. The anger he had tried to suppress surged forth, fueled by betrayal and heartbreak. Do you even care about our family, Megan? he demanded, his voice trembling with emotion. After everything we've built together? As she opened her mouth to respond, Jack could see the struggle in her eyes. He had hoped for honesty, for an explanation that would make sense of the chaos. Instead, she faltered, caught between truth and deception. In a moment of desperation, Jack pulled out his phone, the glare of the screen reflecting the turmoil in his heart. You want to tell me it's not true? Then let's make this public. Before anyone could react, Jack pressed record and began a live stream, broadcasting their confrontation for the world to see. The realization washed over Megan and Adam, their faces paling as they became unwilling participants in Jack's quest for truth. This is Jack Wilson, he began, his voice steady despite the whirlwind of emotions. I'm here to expose the betrayal my wife has inflicted upon our family. Megan has been having an affair with Adam Reeves. I want everyone to see what betrayal looks like. The tension in the room shifted, the eyes of onlookers now focused on the unfolding drama. Jack's heart raced, the mixture of vulnerability and power coursing through him. He felt an overwhelming sense of liberation as the truth spilled forth, echoing in the corners of the resort. Megan's face turned crimson, tears streaming down her cheeks as she attempted to salvage her dignity. Jack, please. Let's talk about this privately. No more private talks, he said firmly, his voice unwavering. You've made your choices, and now the world deserves to know. As the stream continued, Jack witnessed the ripple effects of his actions, the shock, the gasps, the whispers that spread through the crowd. In that moment, he realized that exposing the affair was not just about seeking revenge, it was a declaration of his own strength 
a refusal to be a victim in his own life. The fallout from the confrontation reverberated through Millbrook like a thunderclap, shaking the very foundations of the community. The news of Jack's public revelation spread quickly, gossip swirling through the tight-knit town. Parents whispered at school pickups, teachers exchanged glances in the faculty lounge, and friends grappled with the reality of betrayal that had shattered the Wilson household. Jack returned home, the silence in the house almost deafening. He glanced around, searching for signs of normalcy in a world that had turned upside down. The kids were at a neighbor's house, spared from the immediate chaos. It felt surreal, their home, once filled with laughter and love, now felt like a battleground. The echoes of their shattered family life hung in the air. Megan, still reeling from the public exposure, faced backlash from the community. Friends she thought she could count on turned their backs, their disappointment palpable. She had become the subject of whispered judgments and disapproving looks, a stark contrast to the supportive atmosphere she had once thrived in. Adam, too, faced the consequences, his reputation as a dedicated teacher tarnished by his actions. Jack's reputation, however, stood strong. The community rallied around him, admiring his courage for standing up against betrayal. Parents whose children had been taught by him expressed their support, applauding his integrity in the face of such a painful ordeal. Jack's role as a dedicated teacher and father shone brightly against the backdrop of the chaos, solidifying his position within Millbrook. Amidst the turmoil, Jack found solace in his career and his students. He poured his energy into teaching, focusing on the lessons he could impart to his students rather than the pain of his personal life. He chose to rise above the situation, refusing to let it define him. The whispers of the community became a source of strength, reminding him of the respect he had earned. As he navigated the emotional landscape of his shattered marriage, Jack realized that vengeance was not his path. He would not allow himself to be consumed by anger or revenge. Instead, he opted for dignity, focusing on moving forward. Jack began to find clarity, acknowledging that while he could not control Megan's actions, he could control his response. Each day became a new opportunity for healing. Jack began to reclaim his life, engaging more with his children and embracing the role of a supportive father. He involved them in activities that brought joy, creating new memories to counterbalance the pain of recent events. Slowly, the weight on his shoulders began to lift, replaced by a renewed sense of purpose. As the weeks passed, Jack recognized that his journey was not just about surviving the fallout but about thriving in its aftermath. He chose to embrace the lessons learned, channeling his energy into self-improvement and growth. In quiet moments, he would reflect on the pain of betrayal but also on the strength that had emerged from it. Jack was determined to move forward, not just for himself but for his children, instilling in them the values of integrity, resilience, and the importance of standing up for what is right. As the leaves began to change colors, painting Millbrook in hues of red and gold, Jack felt a shift within himself. The pain of betrayal had begun to fade, replaced by a newfound strength that ignited his spirit. He embraced the idea of change, realizing it was time to leave the past behind and forge a new path for himself and his children. With a heavy heart but a clear mind, Jack accepted a teaching position at a prestigious school in a nearby city. It was an opportunity for a fresh start, away from the echoes of his past. He envisioned a classroom filled with eager students, a space where he could inspire others while rediscovering his own passion for teaching. The thought filled him with excitement and hope, a welcome contrast to the turmoil of recent months. As Jack packed up their home, he felt a mix of nostalgia and relief. Each box he filled represented a step forward, a shedding of the old life and the burdens it carried. He reflected on the lessons learned from his marriage, recognizing the importance of self-respect and the strength it took to walk away from betrayal. Meanwhile, Megan faced the aftermath of her actions in solitude. The public exposure of her affair had stripped away the facade she had clung to, leaving her vulnerable and alone. As she navigated the fallout, she began to confront the deep-seated issues that had driven her to seek validation outside her marriage. In the quiet moments, she reflected on her choices, understanding that her actions had consequences far beyond her own life. The love and trust Jack had given her were shattered, and now she was left to pick up the pieces. 
With each passing day, the reality of her betrayal weighed heavily on her heart. Megan sought therapy, determined to embark on a journey of self-improvement and redemption. She faced the painful truth of her actions, acknowledging her need for validation and the emotional distance that had crept into her marriage. It was a difficult road, but she understood it was necessary for her own growth. Through therapy, Megan discovered her passions anew. Art became her refuge, a medium for expressing the emotions she had long suppressed. As she painted, she began to channel her feelings of regret and longing for a second chance. The process became cathartic, allowing her to reconnect with herself in a way she had never done before. As the moving truck pulled away from their home, Jack felt a bittersweet mix of sadness and hope. He glanced in the rearview mirror, watching Millbrook fade into the distance. The town had been a backdrop to both love and heartbreak, but he was ready to embrace a new chapter. He envisioned a future filled with possibilities, one where he could redefine himself and nurture a healthy relationship with his children. In the days that followed, Jack settled into his new role at the school, pouring his heart into his work. He became a mentor to his students, teaching them not just physics but also the importance of integrity and resilience. With each lesson, he felt himself grow stronger, fueled by the knowledge that he had emerged from the darkness into the light. Megan, too, embarked on her journey of self-discovery. As she painted and healed, she recognized the value of honesty and the importance of nurturing the relationships that mattered most. Though the road to redemption would be long, she was determined to become a better version of herself. In their separate journeys, both Jack and Megan began to understand the complexities of human relationships, the fragility of trust, the weight of choices, and the power of forgiveness. As Jack looked toward the future, he felt a sense of peace wash over him. He had chosen to rise above the pain, focusing on the possibilities that lay ahead. And so, as they moved forward on their respective paths, Jack and Megan discovered the strength to embrace change, learning that even in the face of betrayal, growth and redemption were possible. The story of their lives, though marked by heartbreak, would become a testament to resilience and the enduring power of hope.